Alright, hey everyone, this is Dave with ScreenGeeks.com. I i don't know how to even introduce you. You're the one, the only Jewel State. Ooh, I like that. Yes, thank the you. The one, the only. You are! There's, wow. There's so much I want to ask you, but I don't want to waste your time at the same time. Um, <laughs> one of the things that has always struck me is how a lot of people picture you as Kaylee. Mm -hmm. Do you have fun blowing people's minds <laughs> a little bit? When it's I always find, I mean, what's, what's funny about it is People want to hug me all the time, mm -hmm. like strangers in the street mm -hmm. come up and go, oh, Kaylee, and I'm like, Whoa, okay. Um, so yeah, I just, I hug a lot of strangers. It's going like, to be great. Cool it, it, yeah, but I it, guess. It, yeah. personal space issue kind of comes in there occasionally, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it all depends on the situation, Yeah, but I'm used to being hugged at this point. Fair enough. It's not a bad thing, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it could be, oh, I hate you, and yeah. yeah exactly. We don't want that. No. The funny thing is when I, when I told my wife you were coming out, she's like, if you get to talk to her, you have to ask about the Happy Opu. Uh-huh. Tell us about what started you down that path. Happy Opu is my food blog, and Opu means tummy in Hawaiian. Um, and I spent a lot of time in Maui when I was growing up. Uh, it's, it's a blog about indulgence. It's all things food and wine and vacationing and everything I love to do. Um, and I started it because some friends of mine urged me to do it and they said, you know, you should really do a thing online and, and start a blog. And I'm like, really? But I'm not much of a writer. And they were like, just write how you talk. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did and it's fun and it kind of caught fire a little bit and gets lots of hits, which is really great. And, oh, yeah. and then I get to write off all these meals. <laughs> Outstanding. Yeah. Well, it lets you really express how important it is to enjoy life. Yes. And I'm adamant about that always. I'm not one of those actresses who doesn't eat. I eat. I saw the recipe you put up for the burgers. Yeah, that was that was my first bunless burger. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't excited about it, but it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I didn't miss the bun, which is saying a lot coming from me. It's the carbs. The bun and the mayo. Yeah, I love I love a carb. Yeah, there's. I nothing, love a carb. <laughs> nothing wrong with that at all. Nope. Uh, I know everyone probably asks a lot about Firefly, ask about Atlantis, all these other shows, even Wonderfalls. I loved mm -hmm. you when you did Wonderfalls. But you have a show starting in two days. The LA Complex on the CW. Yes. Tell us about it. Uh, the LA Complex is about a group of actors and singers and dancers trying to make it in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very real depiction of okay. the movie business and the entertainment business. Um, so a lot of times it can be really sad. Um, it's also got a lot of really good comedic elements to it, and uh, it's been so much fun. I've kind of had the time of my life. We just started filming season two last week. Oh, wow. So before yes. the first episode. Yeah. That's we, a good sign. All yeah. right. Well, we aired in Canada. Okay. We aired the first season in Canada, and it went really well, and then um, the CW caught wind of it and became uh, fans and decided to start airing it on their network as well for the States, which is really exciting. Very cool. Did, did you being on Supernatural play into that at all? I don't think so. Okay, because you're great on that too. Thank you. I think that was just a nice little coincidence. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And, and so it's it's not, for better or worse, the CW tends to have a certain connotation around its uh -huh. content, we'll say. Right. Do you really like finding something that's going to challenge that, that conception people are going to have? Definitely. Yeah, it's very different. It's, um, it's not as soapy as a lot of the things that are on there right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we kind of, we have a lot of realism having to do with our show. We, we do a lot of handheld camera work, so it's a little bit shaky. Okay. It's kind of like a behind-the-scenes, reality-esque okay. sort of uh, look at these characters' lives. So it's not super glamorous. Mm -hmm. We're not all glammed out all the time. Um, yeah, it's very real. So I'm excited about it, and, and the network's really excited about it. So hopefully people will love it as much as we love doing it. Cool. And who are you going to be playing in the show? I play Raquel. <laughs> she's a piece of work, man. <laughs> she's, um, she's one of the older ones in the group, and she used to have this really successful show when she was a teenager. And she's had a little taste of fame and fortune, and she's fallen off her pedestal, and she's scrambling like hell to get back up to the top. She's very conniving, very manipulative, incredibly smart. Um, really dry, dry sense of humor, and she can be very nasty if you get in her way. So it's a totally different character for me to play, and she's so much fun. She's just, she'll, she'll do anything and kind of, 
Yeah, it's very, very vindictive, which is so much fun. Everyone wants to find that girl. <laughs> you, 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 have, you have to be able to fun, have fun and stretch your legs a little bit. Exactly. And, and there are no special effects, and I don't have a stunt <laughs> yes. double. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. There's no green screen or anything like that. So you, you don't have that to fall back on. It's mm -hmm. all about the characters and all about the relationships and all about the performance. So it's it's been a challenge, and it's been a challenge that I think I was craving, and I'm I'm loving it. I haven't had this much fun on a job in a long time. Cool. Have, have you found that that's the primary difference between like the LA Complex and like the other shows you've done? Is just it's the special effects. Yeah, I mean. Because everything else, I mean, it's with the sci-fi, it's become such a better better genre. And the, the story comes first, just like it will be with this, obviously. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, it all depends. I've I've done both, right? I've done yes. I've done where the special effects come first and the story comes second. Yes. Um, Firefly wasn't like that, obviously. Yes. Um, I Joss is such a brilliant writer, and he always said. Um, it's a show about people. It's a show about a family. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that they live on a spaceship is secondary. It really doesn't have anything to it's do a with... That's all. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so it, it all depends, but it, it definitely feels different. The whole not doing stunts and all that yeah. kind of stuff, you yeah. know, is, is, is a right. departure for me, for sure. It's and you're not in overalls, you're not in uniform. No. You there's no like a bridge. Person. There's no bridge. I was like, where's the bridge? Um, it's it's different for me, but it's it's a lot of fun. A challenge is always always a good thing to, to find in this business for sure. Absolutely, and the show is the LA Complex. It's on CW, and it premieres on the twenty fourth. Yes, April twenty fourth, nine p.m. All right, check your local listings, folks. <laughs> Jewel, thank you so much for spending time with me. My pleasure. Yes. Okay.